Come on over, it's Welcome. time for Tim Friend. And jump. Welcome back to Tim Friend. Uh, it's me, it's it's Tim. Uh, I was I was talking about about my sort of weird would it be post nihilism? I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm not a I'm not a philosophy monger. I don't mong. I don't I don't mong philosophies. I don't mong anything. No, I do. I'm a I would call myself a lore monger for specific things like uh like Warhammer 40k and Warcraft and Pokemon. I don't know if I'm a lore monger for Pokemon, but I'm I'm definitely an enthusiast. Anyway, uh then I saw a, a, a tweet thread in a little break between episodes. I saw a tweet thread about Grown Ups 2. And uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a very good podcast called The Worst Idea of All Time uh, where two New Zealand comedians watch the same movie uh, every week or twice a week until they have seen it 52 times. So either every week for a year or twice a week for six months. Did I? Okay, I got all the canons. Just gotta make sure. Sometimes a chest happened when all the canons are gone. Uh, and it takes a, like a psychological toll on them because they don't watch like a movie that they like, but they often say, even if it was a movie that they liked, it wouldn't freaking matter because they're seeing it so many freaking times. Any movie becomes garbage if you see it that long. Uh, they watched uh, Sex in the City 2 and Grown Ups 2 and uh, We Are Your Friends and Sex in the City 1 uh, all in the same format and make a podcast every, after every viewing. And it's one of the things they, they talk about is like, why? Why do we do this to ourselves? And it's like, well, I mean, like, okay, Sex in the City 2 uh, is two and a half hours long, which... You can see why this is a great podcast, because what an absurd length of time to devote every week to watching a movie you don't like, uh, uh, but you have to watch and you can't look at your phone while you're doing it. Uh, but I mean, it's, they're still providing entertainment for each other. That There's still something they're getting out of it that's larger than the sum of its parts. They're, they're, they're having an experience, even though like it's, it's psychologically draining for them to do. Uh, but like, like, what, what is this comedy? And I would say that yes, what they do, what they do is comedy, but it's like psychological slapstick. Uh, and I, I don't know, I don't know super why I brought this up, but they, they wonder a lot about like what, why did they do this? And they know why they started it, but why do they feel the deep need to continue it? And like, as someone with a let's play channel that you are watching <laughs> with like no the like like a rounding errors number of subscribers and views currently uh but why do why do i keep doing it and i don't know i do it because i have a good time and that it should be enough for some things some things you do because you have a good time and that should be enough and you're not hurting anybody, so who gives a ding dang dunkarooski? Uh and it it also reveals something about the person doing it because it's like what we're, what those podcast boys, those good good boys were doing is art. Like it's it's an art as an an expression, it's an emotion expressed by the creator and translated through a medium to another person. Uh, and that's what, that's what a let, like a let's play is that it's like you, you could theoret, theoretically do some kind of super deep psychological study into a let's play. Uh, like, let's say you have, let's, let's say about the let's play, <laughs> uh, you have two let's players, let's playing. <laughs> How many let's players? Uh. Oh, let's say you have like two Let's Players Let's Playing the same game. And they're recording the like the same amount of time. Or no, you just be like, oh, here's Let's Player A and B. Uh and they're they're both gonna do a series on uh Wind Waker. Wind Waker H D remake. Uh It would be an interesting 
thing to see like how how they interact with game and how they they sort of choose to present themselves on the let's play itself because like a, a let's play is not only interacting with the game it's also interacting with an audience and sometimes interacting with the audience is just like reacting to what you're what you're seeing on the screen sort of being like a like a <laughs> I, my first instinct was to say a clown but uh no, to sort of be like a like an over the top everyman, basically like, whoa, this is wild, and that's not really, that's not really me, clearly, but like it's it, it's interesting what that sort of says about the let's player as a person, uh, because I I feel like like it, being filmed without a script, where where we are. We are improving. We are improvisating. Improvisation, uh, I believe, is the technical term. Uh, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's just go north. There's a platform right there. I'm gonna fuck this up somehow. Somehow I'm gonna do a platform I've already done, or I'm gonna miss a platform, and then I'll know. And I'll be like, oh shit, I, uh, I did. Uh, 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 I gotta do this on the next time I record. Well, whatever. It's who gives a dunk. I'll, I'll, maybe I just won't even check myself. I'll just sort of know or not know that that I've done everything. I'll, maybe I'll just know that I've done what I could. But I also know that I can get treasure charts from this shit. So uh, now I really do feel like I got to do every fucking platform. Uh, one and uh, to who missed? Son of a gun! I'm fucking. I do empty when it comes to bombs. I cannot afford to blow any. Uh, or at least I can only afford to blow so many. Uh, son of a bitch, that hurts so much. God dang. That that bomb explosion shook my entire aiming reticle. I missed. Dang darn it. But yeah, when, whenever whenever you're improvising, uh, even if you're role-playing as a character, uh, you're still revealing part of yourself that's that's still a thing that you're doing and it's 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 as true for for let's playing as it is for for playing D&D or as it is for doing like improv comedy you're you're basically you are a light you are a beam of light uh refracting through the prism that you hold up to the world basically uh and it it's it's interesting what colors that will make it refract into. Like, apparently, when I don't have anyone to give me immediate, when I don't have to have a conversation with anyone but myself, uh, and I don't super have to think about what I'm doing, uh, I say things like, you are a beam of light. <laughs> and compare yourself to a beam of light that refracts through a different principle all the time. Apparently I get kind of, kind of mopey, I guess. I don't know. It's... It, it's, it's revealing about me, and I'm talking about how it's revealing about me. And that in it, me talking about this is revealing about me, and me even mentioning that, etc., etc., etc. I could go on and on. Get in boat. Thank you. I guess there's a platform here at the Tower of the Gods? Alright. Whatever, Tower of the Gods. Wait, is this Tower of the Gods? No, this is, um... No, yeah, it, it's just hard to tell because the Tower of the Gods is so friggin' huge that it just looks like it's in the next tile over, but it's really just enormous. I do like that the draw distance on the Tower of the Gods is so massive. Like, you can, I mean, it's, it's just like a silhouette or whatever. I don't think we're actually seeing it, like, lit or anything like that, but I like that it's so big that you can see it from, like, multiple tiles, multiple map squares away. It really makes the the ocean feel big and it makes the tower of the gods feel big it's it's a cool combination all right gotta be very careful only have just enough bombs to take out these four canon turrets and then like i gotta go to beetle or something where do i even buy bombs in this game Ugh. i uh i know there's the Oh, there's a bomb shop on uh, Windfall Island. What a goof I am. Of course you can get bombs at the bomb shop. That's literally what it's for. And four. Hey, last bomb gets the chest. 
pretty that that feels pretty good actually didn't waste a single bomb there i just wasted bombs elsewhere all right let's let's let's, let's get grab the loot off of this platform and then we will we will be on our merry way got to, got to go get to the bombus and uh and blow up some more cannons on some more platforms in the middle of the sea we're just we're just being a little little adventurer today there's no no grander scheme or just seeing what we can find in the treasure hordes of pirate bokoblins and that's nice i like it it's it's like uh like sea of thieves a little bit it's just kind of small scale go and you find treasure and you have a little bit of lightly tense combat and you're done all right next time on temperin everybody the the other four sevenths of the platforms i guess all right th thanks thanks a lot for listening bye everybody <laughs> <laughs>